Hello everybody, and welcome to a little bit of a different type of video. Um, in this video we are looking at the brand new 1.18 uh, snapshot thingy that came out. Um, I think it came out yesterday. And um, pretty much what it does is it adds in the new height limits and the new depth to the world. So it goes down to like negative 64 blocks. And I think the new height limit's like 318 or something like that. Maybe maybe more, I'm not sure on the exact number. But, um, yeah, and it also adds the new caves, like the lush caves and the dripstone caves. It doesn't add the deep dark yet, but it adds some other stuff. And it changes the way that the world generates, because now instead of having specific biomes with uh, specific heights, the entire world, I guess, generates with a height map now. Which, if you don't know what that is, it pretty much just allows the world to generate more randomly and kind of realistically, if done right. Um, and pretty much that allows, like, you know, like the plains biome, instead of just being completely flat and stuff, it could also just form into a mountain and stuff like that. So it's a really cool thing. But I have noticed some weird things. That's kind of what made me wanted to... Or, wow, I can't speak. <laughs> That's kind of what made me decide to uh, do this little video. And the first thing I noticed when I spawned in, I spawned in, like, somewhere over here. But I, I don't know if it all went away. Oh, no, there's some. But there's now grass blocks spawning just under the water. So that's a bit of a a bug. There were a bunch of them around, but uh, most of them are gone now. And you see this is a little, like, ravine-type thing. Just like a little crack. Um, and I dug straight down over here just to kind of get a look at the new thing and you can see how deep the caves kind of go now but I landed over here in this little ravine and I went around and found one of the new uh, mineshaft looks um, some neat stuff here and I, oops I fell I don't want to spend too much time down here though because there's some other cool stuff that I'll show you but yeah I found one of the new ravines just by digging straight down randomly near spawn and over here, which is probably what you'll see in the thumbnail of the video, is this big cave. And I looked around in it a little bit, just to see if it was interesting. And it does go down pretty deep. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see this with, you know, how dark it is. I have my brightness turned all the way up. So sorry if it is a bit dark for you. But you can see how the cave generates, and it looks pretty neat. Um... Also, oh look, this goes down really far. And let me get all the way to the bottom of this and see what level we're at. Uh, negative 28. So yeah, this is below the normal bedrock level. So, it's pretty cool. And my computer seems to be running it smoothly. I think I have, um, six, uh, what is it? Uh, ra RAM. I have six RAM. I can't remember if it's gigabytes or megabytes of RAM. Um, I think it's gigabytes? Maybe? I don't know. What, whatever RAM is uh, determined in, I have six <laughs> towards it. So, um, yeah, I can't really remember what that is right now. But what they changed, I guess, is now mobs can't spawn in any light level. Like, they can spawn over here because the light level is, if I can find light, um, oh, yeah, the light, I was about to point at my screen to show you, but the light level right here is zero, so mobs will be able to spawn here, and now they can spawn, like, right here. If it's a light level of one, I think the limit used to be, like, six, like, they could still spawn in light level of six, but once it hit seven, they couldn't spawn anymore. But now, with just this little light level of one right here, they can no longer spawn. But once they get to, like, right here with zero, then they can. So at first, I really didn't like that when I heard about it. But now thinking about it, when it comes to building and all of that, it's a really good change because there's a lot of builds that I see out there that have a lot of dark spots. And especially if you watch, like, Hermitcraft, for example, and if you've seen Good Times of Scars videos on Season 8, or even Grian's when he goes into Scars area, uh, creepers like to spawn in there and they blow up some of his build a lot because it's not lit up to the correct light level. Well now, you can build really dark things and as long as light level is not zero, you're safe. 
So I think that's a really good change. But, um... Oh, I didn't even notice this earlier. This is gonna be satisfying to watch. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. But, um, the main thing that I wanted to show, and kind of what made me fully decide, like, yeah, I'm gonna make a video on this update, is over here. And apparently jungles and mesas, from what I have seen, appear to have higher spawn rates, because they're spawning way more often for me. Which I'm not complaining about, they're two really cool biomes that are rare to spawn. But the thing that I wanted to show is this. And this is where things get really glitchy. Um, you can see that there is a savanna village in the middle of the jungle with no savanna around. Except for over there, you can kind of see a little bit of it peeking through. But a savanna village spawned here, and I actually didn't check to see if it count. Yep, it does indeed count as jungle. So, a savanna village spawned fully in the jungle, pretty far away from a savanna. And you can see uh, over here, for some reason, the lush cave has spawned above ground. So you can see all the clay is here, and the drip leaves, and the uh, moss over here. And it continues on further this way, I think. Yeah, over here. There's some more of it over here. And that's not supposed to happen as far as I'm aware. So what I haven't done is actually go down here and see if there is a... Okay, well that didn't work. Alright, over here. It does appear there is a little bit of the lush cave, but I can't really find any more of it. Well, I'm stuck now. But yeah. Um, so it's a little bit buggy, but it's still kind of some neat generation that we can see. And, um, if we go over this way, I haven't explored too much of the world, but this is like as far as I went over here. Um, you can see the new, a little bit of the new generation. And some more of the bugginess that comes with it, because you can see over there there's more uh, savanna clay spawning, even though I don't think that this is a savanna. Um, let's go over here and look. Okay, it's a wooden, it's a wooded badlands. Okay, so it does kind of make sense that it's here. But just over here is one of the reasons why I'm excited for this update. Like, look at this. Yeah, and you have a new biome, as far as I'm aware, up here. Um, it is the meadow. I don't think that was in the game before, but it is now. Let me just quickly... Wait, hang on. I, I can do this quicker. There we go. But I think that's a new biome. And this is something that you would not see in normal Minecraft, or at least not on this scale. Um, and I'm really excited for this update because of this. You have an area completely surrounded by mountain, and then just a nice flat plains biome with like, I think this is a flower forest? Okay, I'm in a sunflower plains right now. Then you go over here, and you hit a, where did it go? Flower forest, yep. And it's just like a nice little valley area. And like, I could just imagine being in survival, coming across this, and setting up like a nice village just in this entire area. And it looks really nice. But I'm really excited to see this kind of stuff and be able to play and survive with it. And there's even like a giant opening here that you can see. Um, oh, actually, that leads into a dripstone cave. I can see some of the dripstone. Let's go down here real quick and look at this. But yeah, there's an underwater dripstone cave, which looks really cool. Um, and there's one more thing that I actually saw... Um, while exploring off camera that I wanted to show you guys if I can remember where it is and if I remember correctly it is yep there it is wait is that tree okay it's just not loaded in yeah there are some loading problems but uh, my computer hasn't really been running or hasn't really been struggling to run this but it is I guess I guess it could be considered a more high-end computer but I thought this was pretty cool. There's a dripstone cave down here, and part of it sticks way up out of the ground. And I think that that's probably a bug, 
but I kind of like it. Looks neat. Um, and I think I actually see another mine shaft down here with the chains. So I don't know if mine shafts are more common in this update, or if it's just the fact that there's less hiding them in the update. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. And I guess we can do a little bit of flying around before I wrap up the video, just to kind of see if we can see anything else cool. This looks pretty neat. There's all kinds of like, oh wow. Okay, so there is a desert village spawning here in the middle of the savanna. Huh. Well, there's definitely a lot of bugginess to uh, the snapshot and this update so far. But it's looking pretty cool. Like over here, like look at this area. Imagine building like a big base on like the side of this mountain just looking over this. I can't wait for this update. <laughs> I hope that they keep the... Honestly, I kind of like the glitchiness of the generation. It kind of adds a little bit more character to it, in my opinion. Like, this is a giant mountain over here. And I don't know if, like, any um, of the new snow can spawn. It looks like it can. Let me just test that, maybe. Wait, break that. Uh, maybe? No, it's just a regular snow block. Never mind. Uh, but yeah. But look at over here, too. Like, I haven't seen any of this stuff yet, so. Like, there's a big cliff area right over here, and then there's a giant opening to... Well, I guess it doesn't really go too deep. But a big dripstone opening. And there's a big puddle. That's not a puddle, <laughs> but a big thing over there. And you have more mountains up here with a um, nether portal brewing up here. And then an underground snow cave, which looks pretty cool. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, I'll light it up a little bit. That way you guys can kind of get a look. Do I actually... This is actually a different... Okay, yeah, brightness is bright. Okay. I realized that it was a different... Um, save file or load or whatever it's called. So I wasn't sure if my settings were actually still the same. Like, look at this. <laughs> this update is going to be such a good update. <laughs> And even with all the bugginess of what it is right now, or villages are spawning in weird spots and all that, it's still so cool to see this. Like, in normal Minecraft, you'd spawn in, and you could spawn here and look around, there'd be nothing. Like, that mountain wouldn't be there, but now you spawn in, you're like, oh, nice world, oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah. I wonder if they're going to... Make the oceans deeper. Since there's new uh, level. Or new deepness to the earth. I don't know. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to hop in here and get a little bit of a look at the new update. Um, I am on the Java edition. I know there is a beta version for Bedrock edition. But I didn't want to download that and go through all that. Because that's a much harder, longer process on Bedrock. And I'm too lazy for that. So, I decided to, do, to take a look at this, and the first world that I spawned into had some pretty interesting things. Oh, there is. Okay. So, yeah, you can see a little bit of the uh, powdered snow now. Um, just a big patch of it. How big is the patch? Okay, yeah, it's very big, so. And let's actually get some... Oh, whoops. Okay. So you put those on, and then we can walk around. There's a new advancement, apparently. If you crouch, do you... Oh, yeah, you sink if you crouch, and you can kind of swim in it. Huh. So, like, if you're trying to hide from your friend, just kind of whoop. <laughs> Wait for them to pass over, and then rise up out of it. Which is weird. If you have the boots on, you sink down. It doesn't look like you have the cold effect. 
but then if you take it off, you start freezing. And you put them back on, it's fine. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here and go ahead and get it uploading. It's a very late upload for me and not really on a normal day that I upload, but I figured I'd get this out. Um, and actually, <clears throat> what I might do, I might use this as a thumbnail, like kind of over here looking out on all this. That would be a better thumbnail than the one that I took of that cave. There's a floating tree over there. But yeah, oh, hey, I look at an azalea tree. Which means if we dig down, we should hit, if I'm not wrong, we should eventually reach, ah, a lush cave. So yeah, oh, it goes pretty deep too. Oh, and it has the new flowers and all that, so. Huh. Oh, and it meets a dripstone cave. This is really cool looking. Oh, and hey, look, it opens up here, too. I'm so excited for this update. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I've said that I'm going to do it multiple times, and I still haven't, so. I hear a goat. Hello. Is he going to ram me? No. Bah. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you're excited for the new update. Um, this is looking really cool so far, even with the bugginess of it. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I think this is going to be the thumbnail of the video, something like this. So yeah, um... Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.